Creating new reports and dashboards in Salesforce is now even easier with the new drag and drop interface that Salesforce introduced uh, about uh, six months ago. Now in order to create a new dashboard we used to have to go through a seven step wizard. Now it's going to be much easier. So I'm going to go into my reports tab and just as before I can click create new custom report or I can modify one of the over 80 canned reports that you're going to get out of the box. But today we're going to create a brand new custom report from a very fresh trial org. And this is a very similar interface to before where when I create a new report I can select the category or object that I'm going to be reporting from. Of course this will pertain to any custom object that you create within Salesforce. But I can see here uh, that I can select my opportunities. Now with opportunities, I can go through and track opportunities with products or against competitors. But I'm going to start with a very simple opportunity report and hit create. Now usually from here, Salesforce will jump into a seven step wizard to select the criteria and the various data points that we would like to bring in. But now it's been made even easier with the brand new uh, drag and drop interface. Some of the differences you'll notice is on the left here is a field section. And this field section is going to show me all of the fields that exist within my opportunity, including any custom field that you may have created. Across the top here, I can see all the different filters that are available to me that before you would have to step back into the wizard to view. Now right out of the box, I can see that this preview is a tabular format, which we're going to go in and start to shift between the different kinds of reports. And I can run this based on any type of of criteria. So I'm going to run this for all time. I'm going to look over here and say, well, you know, I don't really need to know what the uh, what the stage is right now, or maybe I'd like to even sort by this particular stage. But right now, we're going to go in and say, this looks like a great report. Uh, what is this going to look like when I run it? And I'm immediately able to run this report. But I can customize this just as you would before, only this time drag and drop is used. So we'll go back into customized and I can say well I'd like to group this in a particular way because I'd like to create a dashboard component and of course dashboard components cannot be created from a tabular format we need to bring in some extra criteria. So I'm going to see this by stage and I can just simply go in and say well I'd like to group by the stage. Immediately we can jump into the summary format when I rerun this report I'm now going to see the exact report broken down by stage. So by hitting hide details, I can get a quick snapshot of where we are with each of our stages of the opportunity. But maybe I'd like to take this another step further. Going back into customize, I'd like to add in maybe my fiscal period. So I'm going to change this from a summary to a matrix report so that we can have more than one group. And now we can see that I'm grouping by stage here on the left. All I need to do is to find my field called fiscal period. And I don't need to scroll through the list. I can just start to type. And as I type, I can see it's going to narrow down my fields, making it much easier to find those key fields that you need to report on. So I'm going to drop the fiscal period right here at the top. And now when I rerun this report, I'm going to see this broken down by fiscal period and by stage. Of course, then we can now go into the details and see the details of each and every opportunity. A much simpler process of building reports. And of course, as I mentioned, any custom field, any custom object can immediately be reported on. So I'm going to save this as a brand new report. And I'm going to call this my, uh, my new opportunity uh, by quarter. And I'm going to save this into my public reports so that everybody is going to be able to view this report and make sure that uh, it's exactly what I needed to see. Now when it comes to creating the dashboard components for this particular report, again, it's a very simple process, but it can be done in one of two ways. If I go back into Customize, where we can again drag and drop the fields and manipulate the data as we see fit, You'll notice that there's a new button here called Add Chart. So I can now create a chart right from this report without ever leaving it. And I can say, well, let's uh, break this down by a X or Y axis. 
Uh, right now I have it grouped by stage, and maybe I would like to see this grouped by fiscal period. So the two criteria that we have on this report are available to group by. I can also create combination charts where I can plot, well, what is the record count? Or we can create different ways of tracking all of this information. I can go into the formatting area and say, all right, well, what is the, the title of this chart? Um, you know, this is our uh, ops uh, by quarter. I can you know, make this look a little bit nicer. We can create uh, gradients or uh, we can have this uh, formatted just to make the, the reports look a little nicer. And I'm going to show the x-axis as well so that I can see the actual record counts. Now obviously I'm working from very bare bones data here. Um, but I'm going to go in, enable hover, so that when I hover over I'll be able to see the various different components. Now that I've created this uh, particular chart, I can hit OK. And now on my report, I'm going to see the chart that I've created. So now when I close this out, I'll be able to see this report and the chart every time I go back to my dashboard. But the last thing is really, how is this going to be represented in the dashboard? So we'll go back to the dashboards tab. From here, again, there's a slightly new interface. When I hit edit, I'm going to be able to add any dashboard component based on a report that I've created through this drag and drop interface. So the first step is to say, all right, well, let's go into my data sources. And I'm going to do a quick find for that, uh, that new op that I created, uh, sorry, new report. And I just need to type in new and it'll find my reports for me. So I'm going to drag that in and drop the report here. So we now have a source report. And now I just determine how do I want this to look. So I can go back into my components and say, all right, well, let's have a look at this as a bar chart. But we'll remember that when I created the report that I immediately set it up as a bar chart, I can actually just drill right to the source report for this particular chart. Now that I can see that I've created a brand new report, I say, well, you know, I'd rather see this as a funnel report. Show me everything that I have within my funnel we can edit the properties for this particular chart where again we can go in, I can show the uh, percentages, show details on hover, but we've already created this report so I simply click the use the chart as defined in the source report and it's going to show me exactly what we created earlier. So modifying this is very simple. I can easily change the way that we look at these reports I can select the different um, uh, components that we'd like to use. I can track any kind of information. Just say, you know, I'd like to see this on the bottom. I'd like to see the legend actually on the chart itself. So you can restructure this in any way that you would like. Once I've completed this particular chart, I can go in and again rename the header. So this is new op by quarter, or it's by stage, sorry. And I can now save this particular report, uh, sorry, this dashboard, and I will see this immediately displayed on my homepage and available for all users. So now it's very much easier to create these reports with the drag and drop interface, to either take a dashboard component right from the report itself, or to create that dashboard component in a slightly different view by using the drag and drop interface. Now this is a very simple example of a creation of a, uh, opportunities by stage and by fiscal period, but of course the reports can go much deeper. By creating things like trending reports or having dashboard snapshots that will allow me to track how objects or how uh, any tab has changed over time. And all of this can be found in the help and training to walk you through creation of brand new reports and dashboard components.